document only from FI. Accounting, financial accounting, accounts receivable, document entry, invoice. Select the customer. Invoice date. 6000 here also I can take the tax but it will be inclusive that means our invoice price in our last example base plus tax that is your invoice price here 6000 will be invoice price and accordingly system will calculate the base amount so that means here it will be calculated as tax is 8% so 100 if your base 8 is your tax so your selling price or invoice price is 108 so how we are going to calculate the tax amount it will be 8 divided by 108 and whatever the selling price so this is how it will be calculated so selling price will be fixed 6000 which inclusive of tax add the revenue Baseline date, same concept from which date system is going to calculate the due date. So I have taken here as payment terms already we configured. We can add it. Let me add it manually here. Baseline date. Okay, so invoice price, check the document. Invoice price 6000. Tax is calculated, <coughs> this amount, and this is your revenue, sales amount. So it is calculated like this 8 divided by 108 into 6000. So tax amount is triple four. Accordingly, base price calculated. Earlier one 6000 minus 120 on this 8%. 474 plus your base 5880 6350 okay so this is exclusive that is inclusive and same is also updated in your reconciliation account so your another BSEC document and uh, multiple BSEC line items updated and BSI also updated two open items are there once we'll do the collection then it is end of your order to cash okay let's say here two items are there So we sold to this customer 10 items. Ten items we sold to this customer. Assume that one defective product is there and customer want to return it back. Now already in the system we have a debit entry or receivable entry of how much? 635040. So for one item, we need to post a credit entry or we need to adjust this amount in the system. Otherwise, if we'll go for a less than collection amount, so system is not going to accept it. For example, assume that the product what the customer returned, so everything will be adjusted there. Selling price, deduct, um, your discount, tax, everything will be adjusted. So receivable amount is something and I'm going to post a collection entry with a less price. Assume that after deducting all this calculation, so let's say collection amount is 5,800. Okay, now I'm trying to do the collection. Not accepted, the difference is too large. So that means it is not accepted. So we need to adjust whatever the amount customer going to return it back so we need to post a credit memo again that we will start from ST and we will adjust in the FI 
so create one memory request credit memo request transaction code VA01 and this one with reference to the billing document it's credit create with referenced with reference to your billing document copy invoice created for 10 items one item we are going to we will take it back target quantity one one item we are going to take back with a reason let's say damaged in transit damage in transit one item check the incompletion log post it it's a credit memo request generated then we will process the credit memo take the request number Credit memo request. It's, it's not like we're gonna reverse something or manually. We are, it will be re, it will be reversed, but manually we are not going to do. SD people they are posting a credit memo automatic in accounting. It will be reversed. It will be reverse only. Previously we credited the sales, and now we are going to debit the sales for one item. Previously we credited the tax, now we are going to debit it. Previously we debited the discount, now we are going to credit for one item. But in as invoice is generated from SD, so this should be generated from SD only. So process the billing document or post the credit memo. Manually, if you want to process this, you can process this B75. But again, this is only accounting and no information what the product um, with uh, reference. All these informations will not be there. Okay, with reference to the billing document, sorry, credit memo request, post it. Another billing document generated. This is your SD document and check its corresponding accounting document. So compare these two documents this is your invoice so invoice was for 10 items debit was 635040 for one item credit is 63504 for one item revenue credited with 6000 revenue debited with 6000 it's a reverse entry only reduction was 12 previously it was debit for 120 now for one item credited Output tax credited for 10 items 4704. This is limited. Now, if you'll we'll check your receivable, reverse document posted, but we have not posted manually this one. Automatically, it is there in the accounting with reference to your billing document. So, this is the billing document. With reference to this billing document, this one posted. So now you have a receivable of net 571536. So let me go for the collection. F-28. So 
So how much receivable? 5715 36 Now it's 0 post it New document generated 14002 Okay, it's cleared. Started from sales order, end with collection. And the cleared item, all these are your cleared items now. Okay, so all these documents you will find in where? BSAD. Right now in ECC, multiple tables are there. So check the BSAD. Okay, so these three items, this is your invoice, this is the collection and it's cleared.